Eyewitness News exclusive. Rhode Island lost its bid to host the 2013 America's Cup, but not before spending tens of thousands of dollars to try and get it. And tonight, we've uncovered exactly how much it cost. From the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik has the story you'll see only on 12, live in the capital city. Well, Mike, it costs Rhode Island taxpayers $68,000, and tonight the Economic Development Corporation would not go on camera, would not answer any of our questions. Instead, they referred us here to the State House. Eyewitness News wanted to know how much money was spent on the quest for the America's Cup. And we've learned from the Economic Development Corporation that Rhode Island spent just over $68,000 in taxpayer money in the failed attempt to bring the prestigious sailing race here to Newport. And we wanted to know how that money broke down. We found the brunt of it, more than $67,000, went to the design and engineering plan, which spokesman for the governor, Mike Trainer says was money well spent. We'll have the information on hand now. It's done. So I think it's money, uh, you know, well worth spending, and, and hopefully we'll have a chance to apply it in the future. If Rhode Island scored the America's Cup, it would have meant a billion dollars in revenue and 8,000 jobs for the state, a tough loss. And we've also learned the remaining amount of the tab and the bid to bring the America's Cup here went to costs for things like map production services, overnight shipping, and supplies. All of this coming as the head of the EDC, Keith Stokes waits to find out if Governor Chafee will keep him or put someone new in his place. Very much up in the air. There is um, no decision whatsoever made on, on Mr. Stokes. Uh, Governor Chafee is appreciative of the job that he did in, uh, in attempting to win the, uh, the America's Cup final. And EDC officials say Rhode Island still may reap some of the benefits from the America's Cup. Potentially, the preliminary races could be held at Ford Adams. But again, that is preliminary races and potentially. Reporting live tonight with an exclusive from the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.